In a perfect world where all our needs are met, how would society behave? This question has intrigued philosophers, sociologists, and scientists for centuries. In a utopian society where food, shelter, and safety are guaranteed, how would we, as humans, interact with one another? Would we live harmoniously, driven by our commonalities and shared prosperity? Or would we become complacent, our actions devoid of purpose or ambition? Perhaps we would turn to intellectual pursuits, our minds unburdened by the struggle for survival, or maybe our social constructs would collapse, unable to withstand the weight of perfection. This question of utopia, of an ideal society, is complex and multifaceted. It's not merely a question of resources, but of human nature, of our inherent drives and instincts. It's a question that probes the very core of our existence. To understand this, a fascinating experiment was conducted in the 1970s, known as Universe 25. Universe 25 was a utopia, not for humans, but for mice. A world created in the 60s by the imaginative mind of John B. Calhoun, a renowned American ethologist. Calhoun's experiment, aimed at understanding how population density affects behavior, was a unique endeavor that transcended the typical boundaries of scientific exploration. Picture this, a nine-foot square metal pen with sides towering four and a half feet high. It wasn't just any ordinary pen. Calhoun designed it meticulously, with every detail screaming of a mouse utopia. He created a paradise, an environment that was free from predators and disease, where food and water were in abundance, and where comfort was not a luxury, but a given. In the heart of this mouse utopia, Calhoun built 256 apartments, each capable of comfortably housing up to 15 mice. There were also ample open spaces, tunnels for travel, and nesting boxes for the mice to breed. He even took care of the weather, ensuring a constant, comfortable temperature throughout the pen. But what made Universe 25 truly a utopia was its unlimited resources. The mice had access to an endless supply of food and water, and the nesting material was replenished regularly. In essence, the mice had everything they could possibly need for survival, and then some. Calhoun's experiment was not just about creating a utopia but also about observing how a society of mice would evolve in such an environment. He was keen to understand how they would behave when all their basic needs were met and when they had no external threats to worry about. So, with his mouse paradise ready, Calhoun introduced the first inhabitants of Universe 25. A group of eight mice, four males and four females, were the pioneers in this brave new world. Little did they know, they were about to embark on a journey that would reveal some startling truths about behavior, society, and survival. In this paradise, the population started with just eight mice. Little did they know the utopia they inhabited was about to become a fascinating study of societal behavior. Life in Universe 25 started off as expected. The mice were thriving, their population doubling every 55 days. Abundant resources were at their disposal. Food, water, and nesting material filled their universe, and predators were non-existent. It was an environment engineered to be a mouse paradise. The inhabitants of Universe 25 flourished in this new world. They ate to their heart's content, drank plentifully, and built nests in the corners of their universe. The mice were social creatures, and they formed intricate social structures within their population. They interacted with each other, establishing territories, forming alliances, and even engaging in occasional disputes, but these were normal behaviors. Expected in any thriving mouse community, the availability of resources, coupled with the lack of predators, allowed the mouse population to grow rapidly. The population doubled every 55 days, a rate of growth that would be unimaginable in a natural environment. The world of Universe 25 was a utopia, a perfect world for mice, where every need was met, every danger was absent, but as the population grew, so did the complexity of their social structure. More territories were claimed, more alliances were formed, and disputes became more frequent. The mice began to exhibit behaviors that were not seen in smaller populations. Some mice became solitary, avoiding interaction with others. Others became aggressive, engaging in frequent disputes and challenging the established territories. The social structure of the mouse community was beginning to change. In this utopia, the mice were free from the usual constraints of survival. There was no need to search for food, no danger of predators, and no shortage of nesting material. But as the population grew, the mice were faced with a new challenge, 
managing their social structure in an ever-growing population. However, as the population grew, things began to change. The utopia that was Universe 25 was beginning to show signs of strain, the behaviors of the mice were changing, and the social structure was becoming more complex. This was the beginning of a new chapter in the story of Universe 25, a chapter that would reveal the true nature of a mouse utopia. In the midst of abundance, Universe 25 began to crumble. Yes, you heard that right. This supposed utopia abounding with resources was on the verge of collapse. But why, you may ask? The answer lies in an intriguing sociological phenomenon known as the behavioral sink. As the mouse population in Universe 25 reached a certain density, strange things began to happen. The society, once harmonious and thriving, started to exhibit signs of severe stress and deterioration. Mice that had previously been social creatures engaged in communal activities started to display a set of unusual behaviors. Violence became a common sight. Mice that had once lived peacefully together started to fight with each other, often for no apparent reason. The strong preyed on the weak and chaos ensued. It was as if the once serene Universe 25 had turned into a battleground. But that wasn't all. Some mice, perhaps overwhelmed by the violence and tumult around them, began to withdraw from society. They no longer participated in communal activities, preferring instead to spend their time alone. This was not the behavior of normal, healthy mice. It was as if they were trying to escape from the harsh reality of their universe by retreating into their own little worlds. And amidst all this, the societal roles that the mice had once adhered to so meticulously started to fall apart. Males neglected their responsibilities as protectors and providers, while females showed less interest in nurturing their young. It was as if the very fabric of mouse society was disintegrating. This, my friends, was the behavioral sink. A society once thriving and harmonious was now a picture of chaos and despair. It was as if the mice had lost their way, unable to cope with the pressures of their overcrowded universe. At its peak, Universe 25 housed 2,200 mice, but then the population started to decline. The fall of this mouse utopia was a stark reminder of the dangers of overpopulation and societal breakdown. It was a cautionary tale, one that we humans would do well to heed. Universe 25 was a utopia turned dystopia. This was the world that the mice of Universe 25 inhabited, a world where resources were plentiful, but where the social order crumbled and eventually led to their extinction. Even as the abundance of food, water, and nesting material remained, the mice society fell apart, showing that not all problems stem from a lack of resources. The downfall of Universe 25 wasn't due to a predator or disease, but rather, an internal societal collapse. The mice population reached a point where the social fabric tore apart. Despite the apparent utopia, the mice became violent, with females neglecting their young and males isolating themselves, leading to a rapid decline in their population. What happened in Universe 25 is a stark reflection of the potential consequences of overpopulation in our own society. The experiment serves as a cautionary tale reminding us that even in a world with unlimited resources, the sheer volume of individuals can lead to societal breakdown. It tells us that having abundant resources is not enough if we cannot manage our population growth and maintain a stable social structure. The lessons from Universe 25 go beyond the issue of overpopulation. They touch upon the importance of maintaining a balance in society. The mice society failed because it lost its balance. The social structure that held them together collapsed under the weight of their own numbers, and this in itself is a lesson for us. We as humans have complex societal structures, but no matter how complex, they are not immune to collapse. Overpopulation, social inequality, isolation, these are all issues that we face today. And just like the mice, we too could be on the brink of societal breakdown if we do not address these issues. In the end, Universe 25 serves as a stark reminder of the complexities of societal behavior, even in a utopia. The mouse utopia experiment teaches us that it's not just about the resources, but also about how we, as a society, use them. It's about striking a balance between population growth and resource management, and understanding that our actions, as individuals and as a society, have far-reaching consequences. Universe 25 left us with more questions than answers. The experiment, while groundbreaking, sparked a wave of criticisms and unanswered questions. 
some critics questioned the applicability of the results to human society. After all, humans are vastly more complex than mice, with cultures, languages, and technologies that mice simply do not have. Can we really draw parallels between a mouse society and our own? Furthermore, the ethical considerations of the experiment are hard to ignore. Is it justifiable to create an environment for the sole purpose of observing its downfall? The suffering of the mice was palpable and intentional. This raises serious questions about the lengths we are willing to go to in the pursuit of knowledge. While we may never fully understand the implications of Universe 25, it continues to provoke thought and discussion about the nature of societal behavior and the concept of utopia.